but the effect for you will be like, well, that's out of place. And unless this is your goal to change the perspective, like Duchamp's, uh, the toilet from Duchamp, you remember this? You know the, what I'm talking about or not? Yeah. Well, basically is to take something and pay, place it place it out of out of the the help me context. <laughs> out of the context, right? That this is the, the the conversation about everything could be art. Well, indeed, everything could be art, and this is related with architecture. This is related with everything else. Everything needs a place to be. This guy doesn't, why, why this guy is, is showing me with a black background? Because it enhances the, the, the effect. That doesn't mean that it's not an effect that works. Because the people who criticize this, I saw when, when he developed this, this is a new guy. Let me explain the, the, the story. This is a new guy. No one knew about him. He appears with that, and when, what he should receive is praises and compliments, and telling him, welcome, man. I like it, I don't like it, whatever, welcome. Because this is something interesting, at least, right? What he received was love, but a lot of hate. Saying, oh, it works because it has a black background. Uh, have you seen how Kirill show his pieces? In Putin and Paint? Mm -hmm. With black background. Why? Because that enhances what he wants. Does it mean that these pieces don't work? They work, obviously. But they work better under the right light circumstances, under the, uh, with, the, with the right background, with the right environment. And that's the key. We are in a moment now where the technical aspect is already overcome. There are so many painters out there that can paint and that can control the, the, the tools and the materials really well, well, almost to a perfection, with different techniques, right? Now is a moment where styles are appearing, right? And with the styles, it also comes the way to, to, exp to display this, this style. You cannot, uh, if you dress for a party, a girl, you don't dress the same if you go to a New Year's Eve party than if you come here. Am I right or not? Because it's a different context. Indeed, if you were dressing like this here, you will stand out in a probably bad way. The people will be like, what's this? I mean, yes, yeah, she's super beautiful, but um, it's like, doesn't match with this uh, context, right? So that's what I'm saying. It's like, why we are so obsessed by searching the failure? That's a fantastic piece. And if you understand this, you break already some boundaries. Maybe the way to display this in a contest is bringing your own case and displaying like this. And maybe the juries shouldn't take the figure. Me, myself, I'm judging figures today doing this. I shouldn't do that. I do that because there is no light. So to see it, I need to place it from a, you know, a, a certain angle. But there are some pieces that are not ben uh, benefited by, by, by the light and by the, the environment. So somehow there is a bottleneck. That's what I'm trying to say. That one thing is the intention that we have in our studio, and the final result is a different thing. Because of those boundaries, those limitations, those rules, that you really think that, I mean, do you really think that this is only speech, what I'm saying? It's like, if I, if I speak this to a canvas painter, he will say, so what? This is nothing new. When I do this in the majority of the countries where I, where I travel, in Europe, a little bit less because we are more a community. You know, it's like we know each other somehow, right? When you go to the to the U.S. or Canada, these guys are prehistoric. <laughs> <laughs> in the, in this in this way, no, it's not an offense for them. You know, they want to learn, and indeed, they they have much better willing to learn than 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 he, people here, because here is about egos. No, I don't say no, man. There's nothing wrong with recognizing other talent. Maybe the system of the contest is already old fashioned. Maybe the system that doesn't work. You really feel very proud when you receive a bronze medal and you know that other 250 people have received the same medal. I mean, we have been all in this situation. Obviously, we love to receive medals, but maybe it's not the way to, 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 to develop our art in this, in this point. And I was in a demo and 
but that makes sense, this is what I'm saying. I'm just encouraging you to explore new things that are not new, things that come from other art fields and where they give a, a sense and a, and a meaning for every th single thing of this. The palette, the color mixing, the brush strokes, the volume interpretation. The volume interpretation cannot be always the same. Not, not always. I bet you, please, I, I owe you a beer if you find me 10 pieces downstairs that has, let's say, lateral illumination or, or lower illumination, for example. They are not. Because if you do that, we are afraid that people will not understand and we will not receive the, the medal. And you know what? Uh, I, I have the personal personal opinion that when you went to the contest, you are not freedom. The freedom artists don't need uh, to go to the medal. I mean, um, um, if you got the silver medal in one uh, department, or for example, in military vehicles, um, I was in this case in Turi, and, and then I was thinking when finish the contest, uh, for the next year, I will make the best model that I can to get the gold medal. And after one week after at home, I was thinking, this is not the right way that I won't enjoy my hobbies. I won't be free on at home. I won't make what I like in the way what I want. And then I promised myself, don't, don't go again in the contest. This don't help me to... But why? Up. And then I am worried about another things about the modeling that is not the, the deepest feeling that I want to have when I am building at home. But when you do this at home, why don't you share it? Maybe we will be very grateful to you that you shared your work. Yeah, and, and, that, and that's the point. It's like, if your work is well done, this is not a matter of just enjoying. Yeah. Obviously, when you judge something, there are a few elements that you have to judge. We judge technique, for example. I met him with friends that uh, the, we are uh, uh, components for the one club. Then we bring our jobs, but any context, this is the point. To show your job is, is good. To give the, the perspective for another person, and you can improve your, your skills. But uh, to thinking only, I make one model, to go a contest is uh, like a tool. Because the people who judge and the people who look in there, they don't understand all the things that you want. So, so see how, how interesting is this topic. It's like we go to contests where we don't trust the judges because some of them don't understand what they're judging, but then we are super proud when they give us a medal and super sad when they don't give us a medal. <laughs> yeah, you must break this mentality. Exactly. So what's my mentality? I brought, again, I brought a piece <coughs> called Fax Smoothness to Monte San Sabino. That was the first time I used this claim. It was just the name of a piece, okay, of a, of a display. This is, let me, sorry guys. I think those examples are interesting. If you don't think so, tell me. Um, okay. Okay, this is the, this is the piece, okay? Oh, on you. This is the piece, okay? It was a selection of, I think that 15, uh, 15 different demos of courses that I did around the world, and all of them are between 80 minutes to two hours, okay? All of them, except one that is four hours, that is this one. You can, can you see or not? Mm -hmm. Please tell me if it's interesting, the different understanding of the volumes, light, uh, and character as well. Do you think that this guy looks the same like this guy? Joder. Look the same? Doesn't look the same, no? Completely different colors, different volume interpretations, different light interpretation, different characters. I think it's a very interesting exercise. I brought this as a display, and I was speaking with Marmas Clans. You know Marmas Clans? Well, he's one of the top painters in the world. 
he works for many, many different companies. Uh, official box art painter for Fair Miniatures, Draconia, many things for Big Child, um, uh, Black Sun, many, okay? We are very friends, and, and I, I, I told him, I don't know how to call this display because what I want to show is somehow like my, my journey over a year teaching in many different parts of the world because each one represent a specific demo with a specific mood in that moment. That my demos, what I do is bring me some colors and I do whatever. I don't have something uh, in, in my mind. It's something that happens, you know? So it's something very fresh. And because uh, these ones are sold and I keep them for my, my studio to make special boxes for each one and then I deliver them, right? All over the world. So the point is, I was already nearly to deliver. The boxes were done and I had all of them together. I had like 22 together. And one day I was with him and I placed them all together and I say, man, this is super beautiful. As an exercise, it's quite interesting. It's like the Cathedral of Rouen by Monet or so many self-portraits. I'm not comparing myself with Monet, okay? Or so many self-portraits where a, a painter is studying something over and over again because not changing the subject help him to focus on, let's say, a study of color, the study of light, the study of volume, right? As an exercise, I think that we can agree. Do you agree that it's an, an interesting exercise in general? Do you agree? Yeah. Thank you. Well, I do as well. We have something in common. The point is, I thought it was very interesting as a proposal to the community. I brought it to Monte San Sabino and I said, okay, it needs, it was a very interesting display with a composition, everything was taught. And I thought, okay, it, need, it needs a name. How can I name it? And, and, and Mark told me, okay, what it means for you? I said, it means fuck the rules. There are no rules. Here I'm using glazing technique, wet well, well blending, stippling, cross hatching, patching, everything, because it's for showing my students the different methods, the different techniques, right? And it's very fresh. So there's not a preconception before. So it's also fuck the rules in a way of, man, enjoy, have a nice afternoon, and that's it, right? And the title was, Fuck Smoothness, A Journey of Learning and Teaching Through the World, right? Something like this. That was more important than Fuck Smoothness. People were, in the, in the contest, we're always looking at the display like, interested, why? Because maybe it was not the most technical exercise, but definitely was unique. You know what they gave me? They gave me a silver. To me, that's offensive, and I tell you why. If they give me nothing, I'm not offended. Is that they don't want this here. If they give me a silver, is that they are judging, and I spoke with the, ju the judges, I normally don't spoke with the judges, but I wanted to know their opinion and say, man, please ex explain me. They told me, oh, it's because some of them were like really good technically, but some of them, the back was not painted. What kind of judgment is this? The proposal is exactly that. Some parts are just, and it works, and this is the proposal. So as a proposal, Asking them is like, was, so, have you seen something like this in the contest? No, it was unique. Do you think that people were interested? Yeah, I mean, many people were seeing at it. Indeed, people still remember that. The composition was right? Yes. It was interesting in terms of colors? Yes. So why is not a goal? Oh, because some blendings were not perfect. So you think that I can blend the, the guy that looks Irish, the guy that looks uh, like, I don't know, the guy that looks uh, black and white, the guy that looks uh, Chinese, I can blend this, but because I cannot blend the guy that is in the back and that, that has a more explicit, that means that I'm a worse painter. That, that's the point. That's what I'm trying to, to, to bring here. You've been talking about changing the rules of the competition, and that's exactly what it's about. Exactly. It's what you did. It, the fact that you put that one into the competition creates an alleyway for others to walk down. It means that that kind of stuff is accepted now. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you to insist because this guy won the, the best of fantasy three years later with a piece that probably could never won if we don't have these pieces before. I'm not saying it's because of you. It's because of your talent. It's because of your creativity. 
But what I mean with that is, if you really want to enjoy something and you're proud of this, and you know that the work is good, however it may be set style that they don't accept, fuck them. <laughs> Bring it, show it, play in competition, and don't get the, the medal, because that doesn't matter. I promise you that more people remember this display than who was the gold medal. I can promise you this. Mm -hmm. And I have gold medals in all the contests in the world. It's not about the medal. The problem is how we understand the medal. How we understand the, it's like we are dogs. Like we need someone to pet us and say, hey, good boy, good boy. <laughs> no, man, I'm not a dog. I'm a human, I'm an artist, or I pretend to be an artist, or I, pre I pre pretend to feel like an artist at some point. If you want to paint a tank, I want to paint a tank. I want to paint a tank in an environment with, with a, a focal light maybe, with, you know, like if it was a, the, the, the screenshot of a movie, right? So that means that some parts of the tank will be completely uh, dark, maybe, maybe, or with a lack of information. If I do that, I don't know if I will have the time, but if I do that, I will enter this in the most old-fashioned contest in the world for tanks because it's where people will see it more. And if they give me nothing, I don't give a shit, because this is not about the medals. And these small contests are the best to spread this message, because it's where people feel a little bit more free. Obviously, then when you go to Falston, Monte San Sabino, Scale Model Challenge, those like big contests, people are there more about, oh, I have, a, I have my prestige, I need to, who cares about the prestige? You really think that people don't think that Raul García La Torre is a master when he don't paint for contests since 2000? He's the best. He don't need that, right? If you, if, if you are agree with me to a point, I guess that if four people left, it means that at least you are interested on the speech, right? <laughs> if you agree with that, it's up to you guys. It's like, we are, we are a legion. Always in the contest, you are not 100% freedom. You can totally. make the, the figure or the tag or whatever and only pretend to display it to another person and catch the interest. When, we, when you are focusing the contest, you don't, you don't try the new techniques, the new things. You are scared that uh, this is what you tell. They cannot interpret it, then uh, you, finally you don't make it. I think it's more good for you to improve uh, skills that you only pretend to show it. To well, I think, I think it's good not to paint it for a contest, but maybe bring it to a contest then. That, that's the thing, it's like, to, to break the rules, you have to be inside of the game. You cannot, you cannot change the game if you're not inside, you know? Otherwise, you are shouting in the desert and no one, no one listens to you. The only reason why people listen to me is because I have a background. And that's, that's a pity, because it's, but, but it's the reality. The guy that I show you, the peeling uh, anonymous, this guy cannot defend himself, because it's the only thing he has painted in his life. So people don't even know, he has no credit, right? So it has to be me who has to defend this guy. Me or you or, you know, someone that maybe has a background and that people will listen to him. That's why it's also important, at least to me, I think that we need more, more lectures and less demos, sincerely. I've seen the same demo done by different artists in hundreds of contests. The same one. First base coat, now first lights. We are going to place the lights here. Uh, you have two demos now. Here, 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 and there. That's called Senital Source Light. It has to be more desaturated and uh, that's not the true problem. It could be more desaturated and brighter. And then you have the first light. Then the second lights will be just hints, clink, 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 clink here, maybe here, maybe here, if you want a flat nose. How many times you have, you have uh, listened to that? So many times, right? So to me, that doesn't add anything. Obviously, it's my, my personal opinion. I know positively, and I, I, I hope you give me a, uh, a chance to survive to this. Uh, to this lecture, which is risky, because I know that there the crowd is in silence. It's me who is taking the risk, right? When, I, when we leave the, the room, no matter if here you seem happy, probably half of the room will be saying, 
and this, this stupid guy, what is he saying? I know that. It's 15 years here. I know that, right? But maybe the half of the room will say, oh, that, that's what was quite interesting. And you know what? I have been thinking about doing this, this, and that, and I never tried. Let's go and do it. And this is what you, what you want to do, what I want you to do, you know, to break those boundaries, especially if you have the techniques, you know, because when, when we see the, the standard categories or the lower categories, they have much less fears than the master categories. Mm -hmm. And I see things that are super original. When I have to judge in Monte San Sabino, I love to judge uh, a standard category because it's full of great ideas. And it's like, okay, yeah, technically it's crap, but the idea is fantastic. And I take more pictures of the standard category because they are fearless. When you move to the master category, it's all about a lot of egos. That, that makes no sense. Everybody has ego. If you're an artist, you have ego. That, that's part of the game because that helps you to push forward, right? But we can take the ego apart and say, okay, what do you want to propose? To me, it's more about proposal. What is more interesting for me is the proposal. And then the execution can be better or can be worse. And that can be judged from a technical point of view. Indeed, in this, I can, I can agree. Like, if you are painting a tank and you're painting, what I said before, the chipping, no? The chipping don't goes everywhere. It goes in the areas that has more easy... Uh, where? Tear. Tear, like tear yeah, apart. Yeah. But eventually it can happen because maybe someone shoot in the middle of the, you know? So that's why rules are something that has to be flexible. With colors is the same. This is, this is crap, this is shit, I didn't do anything, I didn't do a demo. They shouldn't pay me the hotel because they didn't do a demo, that's the truth, right? But the colors are quite fleshy, you know? Yeah. And it's just because I didn't have the resources. Because if I had the resources, probably I will do a full demo instead of uh, just speaking, right? So then you can take conclusions for, for, from this. Depending what conclusion you want, you want to, to, to bring to your, to your own experience. But one of, this, one of these conclusions could be there is tonal variation, for example. How many times do you see that in a diorama all the faces are the same? Guys, how many times? Fucking every, every time? Oh, that all are the same, the same? And when I'm judging, when I'm in Monte San Savino, having a discussion with the guys from Historical and they say, oh, this is fantastic because this is a diorama with the king, blah, 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 is dying and the count, blah, 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 is telling him, blah, and they have placed 10 figures. Perfect, good. And see what, what great composition. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a picture, a good composition. Why the guy in the background has the exactly the same tonal, uh, to tone skin, skin tone than the guy in the, in the front and all the rest. Why all of them are a recipe, all of them? Why all the red are the same red? <coughs> am, am, am I saying something stupid with this? This makes me angry because it's not honest. It's not honest. You cannot be judging realism and then deny the fact that his skin is different than my skin. And inside of his skin and my skin we have Tonal variation, changes, dots, blisters. So let's be a little bit more critic. Critic? Critical? And, and I personally find that in a, in a diorama like that, having uh, the same tonal values uh, is a missed opportunity because you can use the different tonal values to, to explain something. The, the story uh, to, to sell right. what you want people to look at. Yeah, exactly. Focus. What yeah. means focus? That's something that we are missing as well. Everything has to be painted till the extreme. Why? Why? I remember. Can I make an example with you? I remember your diorama with the orcs and the boat. That was fantastic in many in many uh, ways. Technically, really good. The materials were really good. But I found a lack of focus. And I thought, well, something that is dramatic, where something mm, is happening, deserves a focus. Monte San Sabino, two years ago, 
they were running up for the best of show. I was in the in the in the jury, and and they were running running up for the best of show. Uh, a diorama done by any classic Danilo Cartacci, and I, I don't remember who he was. Huh? Okay, so it's not because of him. The diorama was some r riders in in horses, right? Uh, uh, persiguiendo. Yeah, they were running behind uh, a guy. So running behind the guy. And that guy what, uh, would be uh, caught, right? And the guy was giving uh, a clock, like a personal item, to one of his soldiers to deliver to his wife. That was the story. That's such a big drama. This guy is going to die, or will be taken prisoner, and he is telling, this is my last uh, possession, give it to my wife and my kids, right? Can you imagine this in a movie? Mm -hmm. How will it be? Please. No? Drama. Fat drama. A role play. The guy checked that diorama. Everything was same clean. Perfect. All the colors the same. Same red in all of them. The guy was giving the clock like this. <laughs> and the other guy was taking the clock like this. <laughs> but they were British, right? What? <laughs> so they, they should be like this. <laughs> well, it depends how many pints they have. <laughs> but what I say with this is there are so many factors that we have not explored yet. I'm not criticizing that guy. If I say this, they crucify, crucify me. Crucify? Or they burn me. That has happened for many years. They think I'm, I am their enemy. I'm not, I'm not going against them. I'm telling them, guys, you have the skills. You have already that knowledge to arrive to this point. Now, make one step forward, because you can do it. Be more dramatic. Study that not all the fucking wrinkles works like this. How many times have you seen this? The set wrinkle. One, two, three. Andrea's school, right? No, man. This is a wrinkle. This is a wrinkle. This is a wrinkle. All of them are different, and all of them belong to the same materials. So. It's a matter of how deep you want to go. Me, in my case, depending on, on your personal interest, I'm interested in colors because I love colors. And when people tell me, Alfonso, many, many, many people, the ones who love me, they tell me, Alfonso, you should, you should do a masterpiece because it's been a while since you have been doing sketches and things for classes. So you should do something that people will say like, oh my god, this is Alfonso comeback. I don't give a shit. I don't care because I enjoy playing. And I'm not in the mood right now to make a super complex project uh, that will show how big is my talent, right? I don't need that. Other, other metal for what, right? So if we're a little bit more critical, then we can change those things. And we can only push this by acting. Changing things is like, I brought a piece <coughs> last year if, if you have the chance, to, the chance to read the book, or at least take a look, it's in scale 75, please go on and just take a look. This is free, right? Just check, because it's a serious job. And there is a chapter where I explain about the project that is about an ex-girlfriend of mine, right? Because it's my, I, I express myself through this. I don't write, I don't compose <coughs> songs, you know, but I need to vomit things, right? So she was an ex-girlfriend, right? from a period of my, of my life that I was mm, not in a really good moment, right? And I was a little bit lost, you know, mm, going with many p different people, right? And I, somehow I needed, one day I found a figure, it was a, 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 a bust of a girl having an orgasm by Romain van der Bogaert, right? And I made a conversion. I made her longer hair, I made some conversions, and suddenly by playing with the clay, I thought, Oh, she looks like an ex-girlfriend of mine. And it stayed there in my back mind for years. And one day I say, it was in a, in a private coaching, and I say, okay, I will paint this one. I was with a student, and I sketch it really quickly in black and white. It was a pure gris sail with blocks. It was, a, it was a, like a tiling uh, method with a gris sail. That makes sense? So Fran Miller. Blocks of black, white, gray, that's it. Cluck, 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 cluck. As soon as I did that, I felt the girl. You know, I was like, is Tamara that year in my room? 
you know? So my goal with this was, okay, now I want to vomit this because it's a period of my, of my life that somehow I need to release because now I'm married, I have a different life. But somehow this was in my back mind. Like everybody of you, you have stories, things that has happened, things that obsess you at some point, right? So I painted this. The final result, you can check in the book, please do it because it's, it's interesting. I'm not, I'm not encouraging you to buy anything. I'm just saying, you take, take a look. The girl is floating on a shape that represents her body. <clears throat> It's a, it's a conceptual uh, thing. It's a very interesting paint job based on my reality that I live in this room in that moment that has certain uh, yellowish light from a bedroom of a young guy with a blue screen of windows because the computer was there. So I had these memories, right? So I made my, my documentation, you know, I made a research, I searched for pictures of this period, of this moment with that girl, I found those pictures, and then I made like a composition of those colors in my brain, and then I vomited it directly. The paint job is quite technical, so it's not something quick, it's something like really advanced, right? And it's the shape of a girl that insert in a uh, square uh, base, like a normal plinth, that is placed like in a rhomboid, you know? It's like, like this. Because I want to represent the, mo the moment of an orgasm, basically, where something that could be stable is only in one vertex, so is the most unstable moment for this shape. And she is inserted on that because we are connected, right? This is interesting just as a concept. I'm not saying that my piece is fantastic, no. I'm saying that's interesting because it tells a story, because it brings some emotions, at least to me, who is who matters, because it's my pain job. I don't care so much if you feel something or not. It's for me. It's a, it's a, it's a masturbation, you know? It's like, it's my own pleasure, as it should be your own pleasure, I think, right? When I entered this piece in Monte San Sabino, I spoke with Francesco, and I told him, Francesco, I want to, I want to introduce, I want to put this in historical. No, 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 